here, we're going to make something in the Instant Pot today, and it's pasta, pasta fagioli. So I'm gonna read you the instructions, and then everything will be in the description box below. The instructions are pretty lengthy, so we'll see what we can get. One pound of ground beef, lean, 95%. A half of medium onion, two cloves of garlic, and those all have to be minced. A fourth teaspoon of salt, a fourth teaspoon of black pepper, two medium carrots, diced, two stalks of celery, and I use celery from our garden, and I also use the tops because I didn't want to pull all the celery. 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes, canned, 16 ounces of tomato sauce, three teaspoons of beef bouillon, two cups of water, 15 ounces of kidney beans canned, a fourth a teaspoon of salt, a fourth teaspoon of black ground pepper, one teaspoon of basil, and that was grown here at the farm, and a half a teaspoon of thyme dried, but mine was not ready yet, so I did not use it, but that's what you need to put in, and 16 ounces of pasta shapes. So I'm gonna read you the instructions now, and as I do, I'm gonna put it in the pot. We already have the hamburger meat, and I brown that to take up some time. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your, your onions, right there, medium-sized onion, and put it in, just like that. And then you wanna take your minced garlic. I know it's here, right in front of me. How do you like that? Then you wanna take your minced garlic, just like that, and put it in. And you wanna add this all into the Instant Pot. And you want your salt, fourth of a teaspoon of salt going in. It's so humid today, the salt is already sticking. Okay, and you want a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper, right there going in. And let's see here. And you want to cook the onions and everything till they're almost a transparent. So we're going to do that, and it might take a few minutes, and it's on saute right now. So I'm going to bring you back. back. Okay, we are back. And I can't, this is wicked hot, but they are transparent, the onions. And now what we're going to do, we're going to put the carrots in. And what I did is I left the skins on them because you get more nutrition when you do that. So, trying to think healthy here. And then you want to put your celery in. And what I did is I used the tops of my celeries too. You need two stalks because I didn't want to waste anything. I'm just thankful I didn't have to buy it. Okay, and then it says we're going to put the washed and rinsed beans in, and these are kidney beans, and I did that, just like that. And then it says add all the remaining ingredients, so that's what we're going to do. Um, let's see here. This is... One's basil. And one's oregano, just like that. Those are in. This is a beef bouillon going in right there. And everything will be in the description box below. We got eight ounces of tomato sauce going in. Actually, it's 16, excuse me. I have eight ounces in each can, just like that. I couldn't find um, 16 at the store, so we bought two eight, just like that. It's beginning to smell good already. Gosh, Ray's going to come in the door and say, what's cooking? Well, he'll say, what's cooking good looking? That's what he'll say. That's what he always says. I think he says that because he's afraid he's not going to get fed. 
And this here is 28 ounces of crushed tomato. And this has little basil in it, because I thought it would give it a little um. But all you need is crushed tomatoes, just like that. And you can buy whatever brand you want. There you go. And you want six ounces of pasta. So that's going in. I love my measuring cup. What's that? Oh, the shape pasta, excuse me. You've got to use shape pasta. That's what it calls for. So that's what I did and two cups of water. Now you always wanna make sure your pasta is covered when you're using the Instapot. Just like that. Ooh, it smells good. With all the herbs in there and the tomatoes. Mm-mm, this really is good. Well, I've gotta tip the camera down. So, just one moment. We're gonna tip the camera okay, down. Okay, it's down where you can see inside the pot and look at all this goodness. Everything looks so good. So what we're gonna do now is we're, we're stirring it. We're gonna stir it right up. And for two minutes, you wanna put it on, oh, just a second here. You wanna put it on manual for two minutes and then you want it to go for another five minutes on a natural release. So let me get the cover here. Don't forget to put your sealing vent on. You want two minutes and then you want to time it for five more minutes. Just time it because it's going to go for a natural release. Then it's all done and I will bring you back. Okay, folks, I just let the steam out because you remember this is venting and this is letting the steam out right here. I'm sorry. Look at that bubble. Yum, yum. It says give it a stir. And I just did. Okay, folks, I'm getting ready. I just want to show you here. Look at that. Yum. I'm getting ready. I'm plating up Mr. R's bowl right now. He's a hearty eater. There. Then I'll go out and give him a holler and he'll come in. This will be my bowl. And I'm serving it with crackers. I'm serving it with crackers. You can serve it with whatever you'd like. Um, I'd really like flour tortillas or fresh bread, but that didn't happen. So I want to show you the plates and here they are right there, all that goodness. So if you like this video, please give me thumbs up and you can find me on Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. And like I always say, you never know what's going to be on my videos. God bless.